Hi students, uh, coming to the next topic uh, in the data oracle 19C. So now today we will see about the types of databases. Okay, so what are the different types of databases that we will see in this video? Uh, first of all, we you know, what is a database? You all know that. Tell me what is a database? Database is nothing but it is a collection of interrelated data. It's a general definition. It is a collection of interrelated interrelated data or an information. So data it's nothing but a raw data and information is nothing but processing data. Uh, so we are performing operations on that data. That is an information. Data it's simply a raw data. It doesn't have any meaning like that, right? That that is the basic things. A types of database is a uh, two types are there. Uh, one is OLTP and another is OLAP. So OLTP and OLAP are the two types of databases. OLTP means what? Online trans transaction. Online transaction P means processing. Online transaction processing. Then what is OLAP? OLAP is online. Online analytical processing so this is a abbreviations of the OLTP and OLAP online transaction processing and online OL means online analytical processing so let me explain you a basic thing about what is OLTP and OLAP OLTP online transaction processing so when we are using OLTP and when we are using OLAP right so first let's see what is OLTP, online transaction processing I said. So these database, why we are using these database? So these database are used in storing, storing day-to-day -day transactional data or information. This is important, day-to-day, -day, okay, day-to-day -day transactional data or information so if you want to perform a day-to-day -day operations then better to use OLTP online transaction processing these database are used in storing day-to-day -day transactions if you want to perform day-to-day -day, then we will use this OLTP okay so it is used mostly running businesses organization let me write that point it is mostly used for Running business mean daily updations are required for that business. Running business organization. That means it has to work like 24 by 7. 24 by 7 that company has to be work. So for that cases we will use the OLTP. Okay. So in which cases you can. Uh, can you guess in online transaction process. Uh, which organizations or which companies in the banking sectors if you take the banking sectors it is an online transaction processing it's a day-to-day -day transactional data information has to be collected okay whenever you are withdrawing it has to be updated when it, whenever you deposit it it has to be updated so it's in that cases OLTP is used means the database of type is online transaction processing OLTP database is going to be used so that means live operation has to be work on live operations so the live operations are nothing but you are trying to insert the data, update the data or delete. These are the live information, live operations or taken place or taken place in which type of database? OLTP, online transaction processing database, live operations are going to be take place and small data retrieval transactions are also possible here. You can do the small transactions like suppose if you take the banking, uh, if you want to uh, see the last 10 transactions, you can directly view. Means a small transaction, small data retrievals also you can see. Small data retrieval. Transactions can also be work or also possible. 
okay so like select command so insert update delete select these are all the online transaction process oltp database at a daily uh, uh, day to day transaction data information is wants to work then it, you have to use oltp okay examples of this is what type of uh, databases you can use for the oltp what type of databases so you can use the databases like oracle you can work in the oracle a day to day transactions can be oltp software is present you can also work on sql server sql server or mysql mysql still more are there so many databases are there that will provide oltp database type now coming to see olap online analytical processing when we are using this olap online analytical processing it is used for storing historical data it is used for storing historical historical data or information when you want to store the historical data in, uh, or information then it is better to use the olap software okay database okay so uh, we can summarize so where, what we can do here here we can summarize or we can analyze analysis you can perform analysis you can perform reporting reporting visualize visualizing what you can see data or information so you uh, in the olap database you can summarize the data you can analyze and perform analysis you can reporting you can perform reporting operation you can also visualize the data or information in olap okay in the data warehouses olap is going to be used the database that we are using data warehouses that is olap okay so the example for this is like suppose the customer is there okay so the customer account number account is on 2542217221722 okay so the three years of transaction suppose if you want to store that uh, this is the account he is uh, working on so if this customer wants to do three years transactions suppose is 50000 transactions So these 50, 3 years, 50,000 transactions is done. So these 50,000 of transactions are stored in what? They are stored in OLAP, online uh, analytical processing database. It, these 3 years of transactions will be stored. So that means it will be stored in data warehouse. Data warehouse. Okay. So, this is the main difference between the OLAP and OLTP. These are the two types of databases. So, when you are working on the day-to-day -day transactions uh, system, then we will work on OLTP database uh, software. And OLAP is when, the, if you want to access, the uh, store the historical information, data or information, if you want to do the uh, operations on the historical data, then we can use the database of OLAP, online electrical processing. Thank you.